when your faith seems weak or compromised, what do you do? Well, I think it goes back to the concept of laboring to enter rest, because you don't have to labor to enter rest. That concept, which was shared from Hebrews, was about the Old Testament and the Old Covenant, where they were striving to enter rest, um, but not succeeding. And actually, what it says really is, don't do that. Don't try and enter rest like they were doing. But in reality, you can, you can, you are in rest because rest is actually resting in the reality of what Jesus has done already and how you enter into it. Because when you look at, you know, you sort of look at Hebrews uh, and you look at what Hebrews was trying to uh, convey there, I'll, I'll just get, actually get it up on my on my screen um you can sort of look at it and say you know what what was happening was this is a trying to unveil to those who were still looking at how they were following in their old testament old covenant faith were were actually operating and and when it was talking about you know their entering in uh, and striving to enter rest and all of those things basically it was talking about this is what you did under the old covenant you had to do all these things you had to press in for what was you had to take the land you had to fight for it you had to do all of that all of that uh, in a sense uh, was old covenant and in the new covenant we are in rest so you know, therefore we must fear if while a promise remains of entering his rest, any of us may seem to come short of it. For indeed, we have had good news preached to us just as they also did, but the word they heard did not benefit them because they were not united with those who listened with faith. So for we who have believed enter that rest, as he said. So if we are operating in a new covenant mindset, we are actually already operating in a rest. Jesus said, come to me and I will give you rest. See, rest is not something we have to do. It is something we receive in our relationship with him. You know, and that is the key that I think a lot of people don't get. It's already happened. Jesus has already finished the work. It's already complete. So, when our faith seems weak or compromised, what do we do? I don't do anything because it's not my faith. It's his faith. See, I live by faith of the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. It's his faith in me. It's who he believes me to be. So when I'm faithless, what does he remain? Faithful. Because he doesn't change. So he wants us to realize that everything has already been accomplished. It's not I have to have enough faith because he has enough faith in me. And if I accept how he sees me, that's how I live. So the relational thing is come to Jesus. So just keep coming to Jesus. So when all the other things, you know, how do you reset? You know, you're bombarded with doubts. Because basically you're trying to set your own agenda about how it should be. If you just engage with God without an agenda, what you're trying to see, don't try and see anything. Actually, you don't need to see at all from a visual perspective. It is coming into a realm of perception that you know. You know the reality of the rest in him that you have received because of what he's already done that you enter into. So I would encourage you not to be looking about how you do anything, but allow you, how allow him to do what he wants to do to bring you to that place of reality. You can desire and you can make the time to have that relational place where he can begin to do it. So I would encourage you you know, in all this, it's like, what does it, it say in Psalm 23? Lie down in green pastures. He makes me lie down in green pastures by quiet waters. And in that place of like quiet waters, there he restores my soul. 
So you don't have to labor because the rest is in him. You just come to him. And then he will reveal to you. What does it say? Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me because I'm gentle and humble in heart. And being gentle and humble in heart. And that passage, I think, is Mark 11, uh, Matthew 11. Um, um, that being gentle and humble in heart is gentle, knowing who I am in him. Humble, accepting who I am in him. I don't have to strive for it, fight for it. I just have to be with him. Come to me and I will give you rest. So all that you're looking for, there might be doubts, questions, unable to see. Forget all of that and just keep coming to him. Keep coming to him as a living sacrifice. In other words, I'm not going to do anything. My hands are up. I've surrendered. I'm not going to try and do anything here. I'm just going to trust that you'll do what you need to do. You will restore my soul. You will enable me. And I know there's all sorts of distractions around life and everything else. Just choose to give yourself that space where you let all your agenda of go of all you think you need and just surrender and say, I'm here. You do what you need to do. I'm entering into your rest and you'll find that you will begin to experience that reality as you just stop trying to receive it and allow him to unveil it to you so you can realize it's already accomplished it's already done you're already included in him you've been included in him actually from before the foundation of the world but he wants to bring you into an experience of that rest so that your mind is not going around trying to figure it out, work it out, or see what you have to do, but you can just come, surrender, rest in him, don't do anything, but allow him to unveil and open that whole thing up for you so you could fully experience the reality of it. Because I think the more you try, the harder it is. You know, that that's how it seems to be. The hard the more you try, the harder it seems to become. And God wants you to. Just stop. Be still and know that I'm God. Uh, this is, I feel, the word that God wants you to get. Be still and know that I'm God. You will know by experience who he really is and therefore who you are by being still, by stopping striving. Because actually in one of in I think it's in the Amplified Version, it says, or in the New American Standard, see striving. See striving. Just be still. Stop doing your works and let him do his. And I think you'll find that it more and more you'll enter into it. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.